We supply conveyors for the film and television industry for 35 years. Uh, we've done many films. Since the development of our Tumblr we've done a lot of special effect work for films. We've done television work in commercials, in dramas, and in uh, a lot of game shows, including uh, a League of Their Own series. So we supply conveyors for fashion shows, many in, in London. Um, we've recently been involved with a lot of theatre work. We've recently done several uh, West End shows, including Funny Girl. We received the inquiry from Cirque du Soleil around December time in 2014. They had an inquiry for some treadmills for the next new world touring show they, that they're doing for 2016. I offered them the Tumblator. Uh, I sent emails to them and they looked at it in working and everything else. And as soon as they saw that, they was extremely excited and I felt that and they said that straight away. They were so excited about it. Today we are here to, uh, in fact, to assess the, the feasibility of, a, of the act on the tumblator. Right now it's, a, it's an extremely uh, positive day, I should say. We're, we're all getting into the same way, same track, not to make a bad uh, wordplay, but it's, uh, it's really flowing extremely well. Uh, yeah, we've found a, a good, good bonding and good uh, interest also into uh, both parties to uh, to do that. So no, it's really, uh, really exciting. I have to say. I'm Danny Zen, acrobatic rigging designer for Sud Soleil. I've been uh, for the company for a long time, and uh, we're working on a new project, a new show for 2016. And for that show, we we looking for a treadmill, a special one, which uh, is we find it, I think so, because uh, well, we need to have a treadmill which we can do tumbling and high diving on it without getting injuries. And I think. Uh, we found the place. My responsibility is to, to build toys for artists, to respond to uh, a, a, a set designer and for a director, and to achieve the performance. So the apparatus we're looking for is try to optimize and put that all together. Once it had all been shipped across, we went, we went across um, basically so that we could instruct them and see what they were going to do with it because up until that point we didn't really have much of an idea as to exactly how they were going to use it and where it was going and how they were going to get it, it from one spot to another so uh, I had a, a few hours one morning with a couple of their guys showing them how to adjust it and how to put the belts on and off if they had to change it if a piece wore out how they could get around it um, and generally how the entire thing went together because obviously they're going to split it um, ship it to all the places then rebuild it put the belts on so it was basically showing them how it all went together from scratch and then run them up and uh, let them show us what what they were going to do with them um, which we were quite privileged to see a couple of the performers that came in and they were told to just have a run on it and just run on it and feel what it was but within five minutes uh, the kids that were doing the performing were doing back flips, rolls and all bouncing up and down and just basically doing whatever they wanted to do, doing a bit of freestyling and everything on it and it, uh, you could see the potential of what they were going to do from that first five minutes of seeing those kids perform because they're absolutely incredible. As part of our commitment to the project, myself and Gary went over two times more after the initial commissioning, added some extra improvements to it, and we also looked at the, the advancements they were doing on the training and the initial rehearsals, and what we saw was amazing. It was amazing advancement from what we saw from the initial commissioning. Throughout the course of open innovation and collaboration uh, between us, which took about three to four months, we covered a lot of Cirque du Soleil's brief and requirements. We also included some unique, special features specifically for Cirque du Soleil. These special features included battery-operated facility as opposed to powering them electrically. 
and it was a new concept, completely new concept. And that development was due to the whole stage with the travelators on to had to be revolved around. So that was very unique. Uh, after months of hard work and efforts, it was amazing to be able to go over in, in April to see the world premiere pre-show for the vendors. And it was very, very emotional. We, we saw the complete finished article, including the diving hoop acts, and it got really emotional. It was very exciting, and it was a privilege to be there. It was fantastic to watch the world premiere show of Lucia. It was built specifically in Montreal Port in the big top there. After that, it's going to go to Toronto to, to show there for so many months. And then I've been told it's touring around America. And then after that, it's touring worldwide.